Well, happy Thursday, everybody. Thank you for tuning in once again to our Grace Life Midweek Update. Hey, it seems like everything's going really well with our new worship and life group schedule. I just want to remind you that we have life group opportunities available on Sunday mornings at 8, 15, 9, 30, and 11 o'clock a.m. And we have two opportunities for worship, either online or in person, at either 9.30 or 11 o'clock a.m. It seems like everybody's doing really well with the registration process, and we're very thankful that you take the opportunity to register early. That's a big help to us. One of the things, though, that we still have a need for is ushers and greeters for both worship opportunities. Since everybody's assigned a seat for the most part, we're helping everyone find their seat, we have a greater need for people who will serve in the role as usher and also as a greeter at one of the entrances to our building. So if that's something that you feel like the Lord would let you help us with, uh, maybe once a month or maybe every week, we have two opportunities or two places where you can sign up. Number one, uh, there's a link on the website that you'll see in this video, or you can reach out to Pastor Sean and let him know that you'd be willing to serve in that way. If we could get a few extra helpers in that way very soon, that would be a tremendous, tremendous help to us uh, in being ready for the worship opportunities on Sunday morning. This Sunday, we're gonna be back in the Sermon on the Mount, finishing up our mini-series on the Lord's Prayer. And you know, since this is an election week, last Sunday was probably a great Sunday to talk about what it means to trust that God will accomplish His will and advance His kingdom in and through our lives. What a great way to learn to begin our prayers. You know, Jesus not only taught us that, but Jesus modeled that for us out of his own life. In Luke chapter 22, when Jesus was in the garden praying shortly before his crucifixion, it was probably the hardest time of his life. The Bible says he was in such agony, he was sweating drops of blood. But there in that moment, as he prayed, you remember, he said, Lord, it sure would be great if you would take this cup from me. If I wouldn't have to go through this suffering, but he ended his prayer by saying, nevertheless, not what I want, not my will, but your will be done. That's a great attitude for all of us to cultivate and have in these days. And I hope that'll be true in your life and my life as we continue to pray for our church and our families and our nation. I'm looking forward to seeing you again this Sunday. And we're going to be expectant that God through his spirit will continue to teach us through his word as we talk about learning to pray. I'll see you again on Sunday.